What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Right on track, Apple has just released iOS 17 Beta 5 for developers. This is coming two weeks after Beta 4 was released and right in line with what we thought scheduling wise it would be. I do believe this should be the last bi-weekly release we get and starting next week we should actually get betas in weekly succession. That's following last year's plans and what Apple's kind of done in the past, so hopefully that is what remains. And if so, we should be only a couple betas away from the actual release candidate version. If you guys can believe it, we are only a month away at this point from our new iPhones and iOS 17 specifically being ready for the public. Now, having said that, this beta is coming at the perfect time because we're still struggling with beta 4 here. The phone has been overheating substantially and our battery health keeps degrading more and more quickly than ever in the past. If you follow the channel, you know we've done some discussions about the battery health on the 14 series specifically. And uh, when I spoke to Apple, they said it's due to the beta, probably not helping the battery issue to begin with. Uh, but we're already down to 86% and all that. So hopefully this update will bring some stability to iOS 17. We've had little glitches and bugs here and there as to be expected with the beta but it has just not been as polished as they usually would be around this time. If Apple sticks, still sticks to their traditional release cycle, we should only be a couple of betas away from RC, like I said, so I would assume another maybe seven or eight betas total, so we're coming in five, so six, seven, eight, another three or so before actually the RC comes available. Having said all that, let's jump in. We're not expecting too many new features as usual at this point in the release cycle, but Let's check it out, check out the build numbers, see if there's any little UI tweaks, and anything we don't find in this video, we will release another follow-up, so make sure to follow the channel. Let's go! So, Beta 5 just finished installing, and as you can see here, we are good to go. So, let's do our traditional run-through, and I can tell you right off the bat, it feels a little cooler than the last one, but it is still running pretty warm to hold, and again, in its hot spots up top, it is over 100 degrees. Let's go in the center, 100, yeah. So, not quite as bad as last time, but you can see it's actually increasing while it finishes ramping up everything that it needs to do. Um, not sure why this is, but always, 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 this device has been running super hot during these betas. It's just a call out, it is what it is. But one of the different call outs I have that we haven't experienced before is actually the delay it took to update this. So usually iOS updates are pretty quick and seamless when it downloads. I'm not sure if Apple servers were, were having problems this time uh, or what, but I can tell you for sure that this took longer to download and install specifically than usual. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And once you load it up, right off the bat, everything is seeming pretty smooth. Uh, the battery has dropped about 2% just from the install of the beta. Nothing crazy, nothing new there necessarily, but just wanted to let you know. Let's see where we are Whoops, with the build number actually now. Okay, so we have a nice jump here from last or the two weeks prior's build. We are now running 21A5303D. The D signifies that we're getting very close to the beginning of the alphabet, and we should be coming up on an RC candidate and the official final public release build. Uh, this is actually very notable because, like we were saying at the beginning of the video, I feel like this will be the last release we're going to get every two weeks, and we will now go on our weekly cadence for updates. This falls right in line with the actual release of iOS 17 to the public, so this shouldn't be a surprise, but it is good to see confirmation with a D build number. Let's go ahead while we're in here too and look at the iPhone storage and see what system resources are being used. Okay, so there you go again. System data is taking up almost 13 and a half gigs again. There we go. So system data is taking up 13 and a half gigs again for some reason. Um, obviously this is going to sway with the betas, but this should not be that large, especially when iOS 17 alone, as you can see here, is running at just under 11. That's not so concerning as the system data is, so yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, right in settings alone too, we got that new home screen and app library logo last time, so nothing new there to speak of. Nothing 
super quick standing out here either as well uh, as far as traditional settings go without deep diving into the menu yeah nothing's really standing out here you obviously got this new show preview on tap only in the last beta update so nothing new there um, yeah so quickly at a glance no new updates there let me jump into Apple Music really quick where we know there has been some new things and you can see we just got greeted with a new splash screen and a, another new splash screen here as well calling out what's new with share play crossfade between songs and song credits I don't believe they actually had this splash screen in the last version so that is good to see here especially if you're interested in the song credits and the crossfade and all of that we do know that they did indicate on the back end there was a new uh, station option that you can check a look at uh, I'm not too interested in that and all that right now but just something to call out that it is curating music differently uh, based on those requirements as well so just taking a look at it looks like the keyboard is coming up pretty good occasionally actually consistently I should say uh, and the animations are definitely fluid so that is good to see nothing else is standing out right now obviously we're gonna go ahead and do a deeper dive I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet for you guys go grab beta 5 if you are in the developer program I would assume that if you are not the public beta should be available tomorrow and talking more importantly about the rest of the release schedule here we should get an update again every week here on out so the 15th would be the next one and then the 22nd and 29th or something around there for beta 6 7 and 8 possibly looking at the RC on the 5th or something like that obviously this is um, my you know me being skeptical and talking about what I'm speculating but following the prior release schedule from the prior years this falls right in line with that let us know have you been having any issues with your iOS betas oh one other call out I did almost forget is to take a look at that battery life again that I spoke to and you can see here we're having a little issues already with face ID that was very delayed um, but if you actually go into your battery here okay we're holding in at 86 percent right now but um, again if you're running these betas please keep in mind they do impact your battery health just due to obviously they run warm and they're not optimized uh, for your phone you're running them on that's why they're recommended for developer devices but yeah let me know what you're thinking I can tell you again this is getting very hot and you can see now yeah we are consistently over 100 no matter where you hold the phone. Oh, the bottom's still okay, but definitely something to be aware of. This beta still seems to be running warm. But that's for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. And whatever new we find that's actually a major feature or update, we will come up with our follow-up video. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.